Hello, this is Roland from ePlan, and the idea is, of course, when the plan becomes ePlan, you talk about efficient engineering. Together with Retel, uh, we're building a very sustainable panel build in switchgear manufacturing, and I'm discovering all kinds of new features. One of the features I am discovering more and more is the amount of parts uh, Retel has actually when it comes to bus bars. Here is a bus bar solution where the, um, the bus bars running along the top of the frame here can feed uh, individual uh, interiors of the panels like this and we can feed um, directly and they have actually accessories that actually fit for this. There are other areas uh, like here where we have to bend our um, copper bars and we have to create them ourselves. And uh, this gives us some very nice bending uh, templates here with exactly the correct bend and the holes. Now, one challenge that I had and this is coming to this project here, is inside this uh, here, how do we actually identify exactly how and where we have to set the holes? So of course, when we actually do look at these individual uh, bending bars, ePlan offers a nice tool here where we can create these individually. And you can see I actually created the individual holes exactly in the right spot. So what I'm actually wondering is how do I get there? And this is what I'm trying to show you on this example here. So uh, let me just hide the side panel and show you a little bit how this works. So the idea is, first of all, to synchronize and figure out, OK, where is this small object here, because when you look at it from a front perspective here, you obviously uh, it cannot uh, easily, whoops, um, this happens sometimes when you open this and you try to actually hit the, uh, the, the correct object and hide it. So my idea was to hide just the door so that when we go for the front view, you can actually see, see the hole, I made them a little bit transparent, this is where I have to put the holes. But when you put the holes from this side here, it doesn't snap necessarily to the objects behind. So I have to look at it, not from the front side, but from the back side. And of course, if I'm going in by, uh, by the back, let's hide the uh, back frame, you can see where the device is. And this is my suggestion. You synchronize to figure out, okay, where this small device is here, okay? So from that point on, using the shift key, right mouse click hide, you can hide them, but you can again show it via the show selection. Now you can see it. Now putting the holes in there is just basically a child's play because you come here, zoom out a little bit, so it actually uh, pinpoints right dead center. And if you don't get that dead center, you can use a control key. Let me show you again. So you synchronize, number one, you figure out, okay, where that small um, block is below it, so that when you hide the bar to which this is attached, this small block, you can show it individually afterwards, so the bar no longer is in your view. Now, when you do place it and you get it right on here, it's easy, but sometimes you don't, so what you'll do is you'll zoom in, and you can do control, control, and it will tag right dead center. So what happens is that now I have these bus bars. Those bus bars are named P00 something, L1, L2, L3, and they generate automatically these so-called copper unfold reports. Let me just update them. I still have one that is not done, so we can actually compare. So if we go down here, I generated them here, and for those two, I generated them. For this one here, I did not yet generate them. So P00L1A, if you open it, only has holes on one side, but not on the other side, not on this side. If we go down to the L2, you will see that we have holes on both sides. And this is automatically generated exactly based on what I showed you here. You have exactly the two bends. These are 45 degree bends that you saw in, in that particular copper and it's very, very precise. Uh, interesting tool 
uh, when you are working in this type of enclosure where this has to be done. So one last uh, shot to show you how to do it. We go to the layout, we synchronize. Once it's synchronized, we can figure out where that block is. That allows me to select this object, hide it, and make the small block reappear because I tagged it earlier. You just go in here and you insert the cutout that you need. You just place that cutout right in the center where you need it. When it's done, perfect. You can go back to your copper bend unfold. And here it tells you it's not up to date. Cool, let's just update it. This is a report and you can see my two holes appear. Everything is there. It's really cool, beautiful. So again, like I said, when you start looking into an efficient engineering solution, it actually all starts when the plan becomes ePlan. This was Roland Jung from ePlan, Plan Canada. You can subscribe to that channel if you want to see more. Thanks. See you next time.